seems incredibly poised and relaxed considering you just were up there standing on a speaker kind of dominating 15,000 people. You seem pretty relaxed. That's how many people out here? 10, 15? Yeah, like 15,000. Um, like I say, man, I'm a humble, I mean, you know me, I'm, I'm a chill person, but when it's time to go on the stage, it's time to turn up to a different person. Uh, Laura, Yo, we I, have to talk about the freshman cover. Hello. Oh my. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Yo, that was super dope. You and Tink, I just love seeing female power on that cover, man. We need more of that. Definitely, like, I, I haven't seen, like, in years, like, where it was two females on the cover. It might have been one. It's never really females on there, so that was dope. You weren't surprised, though, were you? I mean, I'm going to say you were one of the names that I thought logically, I'm like, this is a person who should absolutely be on the freshman cover. Did you feel the same way about yourself? Yeah, I did. <laughs> now, Laura, here's song. something you're going to like about Dej. What? The last time I saw her in person, um, do you remember what you were doing? I was at South by Southwest. Right? Yeah, what were you doing exactly? What were you doing at South by Southwest? Turkey, uh, turkey drum, like. Some... She was just eating a turkey <laughs> drum leg in the middle of the street, and I knew that would be a woman after your own heart. You know what? Like medieval times, I respect it. Yeah, it was like medieval <laughs> times. Um, so where do you go now, Dej Lo? We've been following along. You had, you've had your own huge records. You have a huge record out with Kid Ink, you know, feature records. Now you come to the Summer Jam Festival stage. What do we expect to see over the next few months from Dej Lo? Man, I'm dropping an uh, EP this month. So that's um, end of this month or whatever. And like I said, we're going to keep moving. Like I said, I got, I got a lot of good music coming out. I'm just ready to share it with the people, man, because I know they waiting. How How, we... Let's talk about the All Hands On Deck remix. Oh, yeah, yeah. How did that come together? Um, Yeah, like, I, it, was, it was funny about that record. Like, she sent it over. I was like, oh, I don't understand it. It took me a while to get it, but I kind of, I nailed it, I think. I still don't understand it, so can you explain it to me? <laughs> Does it mean, is it something, is it all hands on something else? Is that the reference where? Oh, man, man you can test it. I need to talk to, I, you know, I haven't even talked to Tanache. I need to talk to her and ask her. I kind of did what I did to it. Like, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just come from where I'm coming from with it. And I did it. Was there like, a, what was the turning point for you? Because I, I did not know your name. Then I hear your name. Then I remember you show up on stage with like Styles P and Jadakiss in New York. And then the next thing I know, you're featured on an Eminem record. And then it just like all happened like so that. quickly. Was there any one moment in particular when you felt momentum just starting to turn for Dej Lo? Man, I, I always, like I say, when I was younger, I always knew I would make it somewhere. I just didn't know when, you know what I'm saying? So like all the things happening now, like I'm just taking it in like, uh, you know, it's like, it's a blessing. That's all I can call it really. It's very, very exciting. Stay Talk slow. to us about your relationship with Little Dirk. You know, he was on the show, and he said he's a big fan of yours. And I, people were automatically connecting you guys because they were like, oh, they're retweeting each other. You know, they maybe turned that into something else. But talk about your relationship with Dirk. Dirk, he the homie. He's cool. I like, I like his music. I like, he's just a dope. He's dope. We got it. <laughs> That's how it is. How do you, this is a tough balance. And I've had this conversation with Tanache before, too. There is a challenge being an artist and being an attractive female artist in what is still... Uh, very often a men's field because cats reach out to you, they want to collab, they want to work, exactly. but you also never know what people's intentions are. Do you have a way, is there a way, like, do you have a style in the way you text message? What do you do to shut people down and let people know, like, nah, this is a professional You're relationship? You're her about her curbing tactics? Yeah, like, what's her curb tactic? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the curb queen. I've been curving for a while, man. Like, <laughs> I dodge so many bullets. I be curving people. I, I mean, I know what I want, so if I ain't interested, I'm going to try to Work my way around that and just try to keep it business wise. You know what I'm saying? You hit people with the nice, haha. -ha. Yeah. That's the that's the worst one on text messages. That's so, the best one. Silly, you know stuff like that. Like you so silly. <laughs> like they they say something like, hey, you wanna go? Like you so funny. Have you uh, have you maintained any relationship with uh, with Eminem? You know what, uh, Royce. He kind of connected that. He made that happen for me. So, like I said, he wanted to get back in the studio. So that's, like I say, closer to Eminem. I haven't met him. Nobody sees Eminem. Where is he? I know, I know. I, I want to meet him. I, I met him one time. It's like meeting a ghost. You don't even believe that it's, that it's happened. Yeah, so I'm still waiting to meet him. But shout out to Royce, a, a great dude in hip hop who always puts things together for artists. He's a dude who pays attention and, like, just makes positive things want to happen. 